Good morning, Lion Camp Cowboy Church friends and family. This is number 10 of our devotion. Today's scripture is chapter 4, verse 6 through 7. It says, Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation by prayer and supplication. With thanksgiving, let your requests be made known unto God. And the peace of God, which transcend all understanding. Another version says, And the peace of God that passes all understanding will guard your hearts and your mind in Christ Jesus. It's easy to be anxious with all that's going on around us, but I want you to know that we can rest in our prayer. We can rest in our faith. And when we begin to worry, we need to make those worries known to God. I know that some people use the verse of Scripture in the Bible where it says not to worry, and they, they take it out of, out of context. I will tell you that you and I have no business to be worried. It's not semantics, but I will tell you that it's not necessarily worry to be concerned. I'm concerned for this country. I'm concerned for my church people. I'm concerned for the Lion Camp Cowboy Church family. I'm concerned for my children. I'm concerned for my grandchildren. I'm, I'm concerned about lots of things, but not worried. So today, will you rest in the peace of God? You say, well, Pastor Harlan, how do, you, how do you stay calm? How do you stay cool? How do you stay collected in times like these? I believe the only way we do that is to remember who the author of this word that we read is. And what we have, if we've accepted him as our personal Savior, is the author of the word of God, is our Heavenly Father. We have peace in him. He will guard our hearts. He will guard our minds if we will but talk to him. Be a people of prayer during this crisis. Be a person of prayer during this time. And you be blessed as God keeps your heart at that peaceful place. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for your love, your grace, and your mercy. Father, we ask you in the sweet and precious name of Jesus to heal this land. In Jesus' name, amen.